Annyeong Doobies, today we're trying traditional Korean desserts and rating it out of 10. The place we're going to is super old school. It's in a historical Korean hana. It was my first time trying tea made from dried persimmon leaves and I love the whole soothing ritualistic aspect of it because it requires pouring all your attention into serving tea. Get it? Pouring all my attention? Yikes, never mind. The persimmon leaf tea was so fragrant with a subtle sweetness at the end and I'm definitely gonna try and snack some leaves and try making it myself when fall comes. 9.3 out of 10. Our desserts came out and the red bean porridge was actually not bad. It almost had a chocolatey flavor minus the smokiness and the bitterness. And there's these little rice balls at the bottom. And be aware, they kind of melt and get a snot-like consistency when they're overcooked. 8 out of 10. Our kaboka siru rice cake came after 15 minutes because it needed time to steam and it was steaming. But the texture is crumbly and dry, kind of like your mom's toes. Not my favorite because I like my rice cake pounded. 7 out of 10. Overall, I like that the desserts didn't make me feel like shit afterwards. It felt healthy with a good amount of sweetness coming from natural elements. So if you're ever visiting Korea, I'd say definitely go give it a try.